Hello and welcome to the home of the Ghost Owl. I'm doing a first play of Gauntlet. It's a Gauntlet Slayer Edition on Steam and we are playing it with a gamepad. You do get the choice of a gamepad or a mouse and keyboard, though it does recommend the gamepad as a better way to play. So that's how we're going to try it. So without further ado, let's jump into the game and see how it is. Now I first played Gauntlet back on the, I think it was the Spectrum at the time, um, a very 2D affair uh, where you ran around with Valkyrie and Warrior shooting uh, and, and, the, and, the, uh, and the Elf uh, shooting a lot of uh, ghosts and stuff like that. So we're going to see how this gauntlet plays many, many years later. So campaign, we're going to do it on easy because we just want to take a look at the game and not die in the first few seconds. Right, so you get a choice. You can be a Warrior, you can be Valkyrie, you can be a Wizard or you can be an Elf or a Necromancer indeed. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with the elf. That's pretty cool. I like my range DPS. So let's go with, let's go with the elf. elf. Okay. Change equipment. Uh, okay. Let's have a bit of that, I guess. Magic bomb, explosive shot, root field, root shot. Well, maybe we'll just go with that one then. Okay. Okay, let's... Uh, how do we... Uh, there we go, ready. So this is a game that you can play with your mates. You can have like uh, a full co-op session going on. Okay, here we go. Um... Right, so B makes you roll. A does nothing. Ah, okay. Interact A. Okay, A interacts. Welcome. I am Morak, the only wizard powerful enough to have summoned the gauntlet. This astral manifestation of my powers is a trial where only the strongest will prevail. Okay. Find the three lost shards of Tirfing and bring them to me. And I will grant you power and riches unimaginable. Okay. No one has ever managed to acquire all the shards. I don't expect you to make it. But go on. Amuse me. Okay. I don't really trust that guy. Did he just make that quest up? A magical sword that sounds nice though. Maybe it be traded in for a gold sword. Okay. Ah, right. So it's the triggers that shoot. Ah, okay, right. So the B makes you run. It's the triggers that shoot. Okay, right. Level select. Okay. Let's go. Why does it say hard? Did we pick hard by mistake? Holy moly, hope not. Let's see this isn't going to go very long. So humans built this place to hang around and watch their dead? I don't get it. Oh wait, they're undead. Oh, that makes more sense. Ah. That's just like a bomb. So, okay. Because like, I mean, shooting these like pots and stuff. Okay, yeah. I'm we're getting there. Ah, okay, oh, I'm getting it now. So it's not just the trigger. You need to use the right joystick, which just does the normal shot. The triggers are just for the special shots. Okay, I'm getting it. And where you, the direction you put the right joystick on the gamepad is the direction that you shoot and you shoot normal shots. Okay, good. Uh, how do we get through there? Why can't we get through there? Oh, we can. We just need to shoot it. Undead humans. If you don't think living ones are smelly enough, stay dead this time, you hear? Okay. There we go. See lots of stuff to shoot. I mean, obviously, in terms of the way it looks and it plays, it's very sort of ARPG-esque, right? Now, why would you do that? 
Okay. Okay, that doesn't look good. There's a key. Take the key. Keys have always got to be useful, right? Now what? Ah, okay. Oh, that worked very well. Yeah, that exploding shot's really good. I like the way the arrows stick in the walls and everything. Right, okay, that's good so far. Okay, right, let's keep going. And, you know, after we had that beginning where you could, like, choose the weapon, obviously, because I bought a, the Slayer edition, maybe you get the... Bad. Okay, good. The food was shot to pieces by the swift little elf. <laughs> That's funny when it does that. Like, oh, okay, booby traps. Okay, ah, uh, that's glowing. Right, A to jump. Okay. What the. Nice. Oh, we got to kill that. Let's drop the bomb on it. Too easy. Key. Okay, so we're going to hit that. They're going to come after us. We'll drop this. Oh, run away, run away, run away. Nice. That bomb thing is absolutely awesome. We do have another key. So in we go. Ah, right, so you have to you don't shoot the food. You can apparently you can kill the food. Ooh. All right, so they don't come up until you cross it. Understood? So you can't basically you just can't stand on it. You just have to keep moving. Okay, this isn't good. That's like a boss, dude. Okay. Holy potatoes. Nice. Can we pick that up? No, clearly not. Can't get through there. Oh, A, carry it. Okay. There's a key there. Okay, we'll just leave that for now. 
got some potion thing. Alright, we can pick it up. I thought I had to blow those things up, but clearly not. We don't have a key. Can we can we blow the door? That would be no. Huh. Okay. Do we blow this up? Do we blow something up in here? Maybe. No. Ha. Huh. Interesting. We need a key to get there. I wonder, maybe, okay, let's see. Do I take a barrel and blow that up? Ah, I, know, I can see it, look. Look at that. There's a crack in the wall. There you go. Look at that. Sneaky. And look. There's a key. There's a key. Sneaky. Very cool. Okay, nice little puzzle. Puzzle for the, the blind who doesn't notice it when they first go in. Gold a go go. Looks like we got company. Oh. Run away, run away, run away. Yeah, you're not wrong. Wow, the actual the, the the lighter shots actually do better against the spawners. Okay, could do with some health back there. We did lose a touch of health there. And fortunately, oh look at this, tons of gold, bunch of health. Nice. Okay, cool. Right, let's get going. That's because he's below me. we went up the stairs he was actually below so we couldn't go through so i do have a key but before we go through the key room there's another room in here spawners jesus what the yeah i wasn't ready for that Touch rude. Let's just destroy 
You, you think? I mean, certainly never stop moving. Never stop moving. Holy crap. I mean, one of the ways you can obviously jump across there, but just don't stop moving. Uh, right, is this... Uh... Oh, man. Oh, we're low on health. I didn't realise how low on health we were. Crap. I'm gonna go back. We there was a thing that a door we could open with a key and hmm. <laughs> I wish I had some of that elf bread. See, we haven't been using that as well as we should. Oh, there's a whole bunch of food in there, right? Let's try and get them here. That we played it cautiously to enable us to come in here. Ooh, we're about to faint over here. Food, very nice. And a whole bunch of gold to go with it. Very cool. Yeah, I think we need to use more of the, the dodge. We've not been using that enough. Though of course we need dodging, you're not shooting, right? Okay, we cleared that room. We're down the stairs now. Okay. Impressive. What did we clear? Okay. In we go. Floor cleared. There you go. First level. Look at that. Ton of gold. Loads of kills. Oh, good. And uh, masteries unlocked as luck would have it. Heroic hunger and eating off the floor. Destroy food ten times. Holy crap. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, but there you go. Um, that is the first level playing Gauntlet uh, Slayer Edition. Like I say, um, the most recent version of a very, very old game, which I played back in the day. Um, very ARPG in its feel but without the without as in-depth rpg of it um i'm not sure how fun this is going to play be to play solo um i think it could get very repetitive just in the way it plays playing solo but i bet this is an absolute blast with your mates like if you're there and you're playing like with the barbarian and the valkyrie and everyone else i bet it's actually really really cool uh it's not to say it's not it, it, it's not a, a, a cool game i think 
I just think that when you're playing on your own, I think it could be quite samey, quite repetitive as you go through these dungeons. You know, it's not like the in-depth of, uh, you know, ARPGs that you have, such as like Lost Ark and Diablo and all of those sort of things. So who are, you know, there's a bit more more depth to them. I mean, maybe there is later on. It just doesn't feel like it right now. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think this is a game that is probably best played um, – uh, as a co-op with your mates um uh, i think that's probably a, a much better way to play it but there you go guys gauntlet slayer edition hope you've enjoyed uh seeing the first level of this game and seeing what it's like and how it plays um maybe if you can find it cheap on steam uh, over christmas because you know christmas sales coming up maybe it'll be cheap uh, and worth picking up then particularly if you've got mates who have got the game as well if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know why in the comments down below. And as always, if you want to see more content, hit that subscribe button. Totally free for you to do. Means a big deal for me, so thank you for that in advance. Tune back in for some more of our first play videos. You've been watching The Ghost Owl.